The Odd Family Zombie for Sale is a quirky, weird horror comedy from Korea. Now, I wasn't really interested in this movie because I don't really love horror comedies that much, but I do like zombie movies. So this one is about um, a biological experiment who escapes from a facility and they're apparently being investigated and uh, they created a zombie. So he shows up and he's walking around this hick town, you know, and, and he's not much of a threat. People just sort of look at him and assume he's drunk. And then he gets uh, found by the Park family. They run a defunct gas station. And the uh, father of the family, the, the grandpa, he gets bit in the head. And, uh, you know, he's injured and he's upset, but later gains a new virility uh, from the bite. So this zombie does the opposite. He doesn't infect others. He gives them virility. So now he, the father patriarch of the family looks younger. So his uh, two sons and his daughter-in-law, they basically want to exploit uh, this new resource. They can sell the virility bite to all of the village elders. So the youngest, um, she, she wants to um, befriend Zong Bi and nicknames him, feeds him cabbages. He likes cabbage and ketchup. And um, then there's also the two brothers. One of them is married with a wife and a baby coming. He also wants money too. The wife also does. And then there's the other brother who also wants to exploit and sell the zombie to a pharmaceutical company for the virility bite. If they can get, you know, sell it to a Viagra company, basically. So the first half of this movie is really quirky. It's not that funny. It's a little bit funny. There's a, some, some references to other zombie movies and... Uh, it's a weird kind of Harry and the Hendersons kind of vibe movie going on. It's not going for anything too weird. And then just when you think you can peg the movie, the movie shifts and turns gears in the second half. I really enjoyed it. It wasn't predictable. Cast does a good job. Uh, the plot's unique. It's different. It's a little bit quirky. The only thing I didn't like is that sometimes the movie is too silly at the end. But overall, it's still a pretty strong, weird, unique offering worth checking out if you're into zombie or Korean films. So I give uh, The Odd Family Zombie on sale a 6.5 out of 10.